In this video, I'll show you how you can solve problems for a random variable that has an exponential distribution. The time in hours that an electrical generator is operational is a random variable x that follows an exponential distribution with the parameter lambda equal to 0 0.00625 hours. So the first question is, is how long should we expect the generator to be operational? Well, the expected amount of time is actually the average. So the expected value of a exponential random variable is equal to its average mu x, which is equal to one over lambda. So in this case, we know what lambda is. It is equal to 0.00625. So if we calculate this, we find that the expected number of hours is 160 hours. So that's how long we would expect the generator to be operational. Now, how much does the operational time vary on average? And so the variation on average is going to be the standard deviation. So the SD of X is equal to the square root of our variance of X. And the variance of an exponential random variable is one over lambda squared. And so if we were to just look at this, if we were to take the square root of the numerator and the denominator, before we even put in our values, we find that this, the standard deviation of an exponential distribution is still just one over lambda. So this is equal to 1 over 0 0.00625, and of course it is the same value as what we got up here, 160 hours. So again, this is denoted by sigma x. That is our standard deviation. All right, so what is then the cumulative density function for x? Well, first let's talk about what is the probability density function for an exponential distribution. And this is then equal to lambda e to the negative lambda x. This is the general format for when x is greater than 0. And so our lambda is equal to 0 0.00625. And if we plug it into the formula, we get negative 0 0.0625 here in the exponent, where x is greater than 0. And if we want to find then the cumulative density function for x, then that is f of x, so large f of x, which is equal to the probability that x is less than a, a particular value, so it's the cumulative area under the curve. And that is equal to then the integration from our lower bound, which in this case is zero, up to our placeholder of x, and integrating over our probability density function. I added in an extra zero there. So let me get rid of that, 0 0.00625. And I'm going to put in a placeholder of t here. And I will integrate with respect to t. And so then when I take my bounds of integration, it will be a function of x. So if I integrate this, I get negative e to the negative 0 0.00625t from 0 to x, this will be equal to negative e to the negative 0.00625x minus a negative e to the negative 0.00625 times 0. And so e to the 0 will just go to 1. And this will actually be adding a positive 1. So our cumulative density function will be 1 minus e to the negative 0.00625x. And I just manipulated this to make it kind of a little bit nicer format. All right, so that is my cumulative density function. So now if I look at c, it asks, what is the probability that x is less than 200 hours? Instead of integrating, I can simply just use my cumulative density function. So f of 200 is the same as the probability that x is less than 200. And this is then simply equal to 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.00625 with 200 in the place of x. 
All right, so this is then equal to 0 0.7135. So that is the probability that the number of hours the generator will be operational is less than 200. All right, now what if we want to find a percentile? And specifically, we want to find the median. So again, this is the 50th percentile. So it's nice to be able to do this with the cumulative density function because we know that some value, the median, that the cumulative density function taken at the median, which we could write in as median, or we can also write in as the notation of xm, is equal to 0 0.5. So all we have to do now is put plug in x sub m for in our cumulative density function and set it equal to 0.5 and solve for x sub m, the median value. So this is equal to 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.00625, that's our lambda of x m. This is equal to 0 0.5. Now, if I subtract 0 0.5 from one side, and add e to the other side, I get 0 0.5 is equal to e to the negative 0 0.0625 x sub m. And if I take the natural log of both sides and divide by our lambda, then I'll get the natural log of 0 0.5 divided by negative 0 0.00625. And this will be equal to my median or x sub m. This is then equal to 110.9035. So in my exponential distribution this will be then the value where 50 percent of the data falls below that and 50 percent of it falls above it. So this is then my 50th percentile or median.